The news out of Baltimore this week of the cargo ship hitting that huge bridge there causing more innocent loss of life is a reminder to us that the next tragedy is always right around the corner. As much as we hate to admit it, pain and suffering is a part of our world. It never stops. As much as we pray that it would, as much as we would pray that God would do something to prevent it, which is our natural inclination, we know that suffering continues. In light of that, Holy Week, the moment when we remember Jesus' last supper with his disciples and then his journey to the cross, is so momentous. Because when there's nothing else left for us to do, nothing else left for us to say or to think, we have one thing that we go back to again and again. Because Jesus suffered on the cross. Jesus knows intimately what our suffering is like too. And so he's with those families in that community in Baltimore today. He knows what they're going through. He'll be with them. He'll journey with them through their crisis. And as their healing continues, he'll be with them as well. Again, because he knows. He knows what it is to profoundly suffer. And of course, we have the benefit of knowing what the rest of the story is. On Easter, we know that suffering is not the last word, that there is life and renewal, that there is hope and light again. Darkness will not prevail. And so this week, Thursday night when we have worship here, Friday at noon we'll have worship here, we remember those last events of Jesus' life. Those are so important. And then, of course, on Sunday, Easter Sunday, when we will celebrate the joy of the resurrection. Momentous. Momentous events in our common humanity. I hope you'll be with us for all of these events. Worship on Sunday is our regular schedule at 9 and 11 a.m. Casual service at 9. Our traditional service with Brass instrumentation will be at 11 o'clock as normal. I hope to be with you during this week where we remember and where we also give thanks and express our joy. I'll see you soon.